Alright, so this is how a game of Rampart starts out. Once you pick a section of coastline to defend, you got to pick one of the towers. That's going to become your main base of operations. We'll pick that guy for no particular reason. And once you pick your tower to be your main castle, the game is good enough to give you a wall which surrounds your castle. And that begins the first of the three phases, which is placing cannons. Now you can only place cannons inside castle walls, and that becomes important later. Now, when you're doing that, that's when you're going to start seeing your enemy ships get into firing range. And this begins the combat phase. And the combat phase is pretty straightforward. Basically, someone yells, ready, aim, fire, and you're shooting your cannonballs at them, they're shooting them back at you, you might sink one or two, and they're blowing holes in your wall. Until eventually, after their ships have all been destroyed, or a few of them, some of them might get away, most of them don't, your wall is reduced to that. That also means your cannons can't fire. So, there's a yelling of cease fire, get the wreckage out of the way, and this begins the violent Tetris. Now, of course, you got all these gaps in your wall, which you can't really have, because you can only place cannons inside completed walls. So you got to try to work out, okay, get random bricks, make sure they all fit together properly, and if you can, try to get another castle, because that'll become a new place to set up cannons. And then you start all over again. Now, if one of your ships happens to get kind of close, and you don't sink it in time, they're going to start unleashing ground troops. And these guys are going to make it very hard for you to repair your walls, because you can't place bricks where any of them are standing. All you can hope to do is entomb them, effectively capturing the pieces. Alright, so that's basically Analog Rampart. Now we're going to go to the actual game.